Good afternoon. Guess what I forgot to do? Charge the camera. So, <coughs> dear me, I just had a spicy chicken slice against us. A spicy chicken slice. I don't care what anyone say, you can't beat against us. Meat slice. There we go, I just had to pick the uh, charge cable up. Right. It appears my battery pack has a dodgy battery. Those two, that one and that one, are still holding 12 and a half volts, which is good enough. Um, this one on the end has dropped to 5 volts. Um, I knew as soon as I measured it, because the bike stopped working, I turned the key, absolutely nothing. So I don't know if it's because there's not enough juice in the batteries, or in this case, battery. So I've just got that single one on charge. Um, but I did have a poke around in the control unit as well and checking connections and whatnot. I'm going to put the whole thing back together. But uh, if this doesn't work, once it's charged obviously, I'll, um, I don't know what I'll do with it because there's no point getting a charger for it unless it works. But uh, ob obviously if there's only one losing charge like that, and uh, we've got one dicky battery. Mind you, it has taken, there was five point something volts in this end one when I checked it. And that's taken... What, three months to get that low? So it's not the worst battery on the planet. It's definitely not the strongest. No, it's definitely weaker than the other two. But uh, it's not dead, dead yet. <sighs> oh well. I'll give that a charge. It's only been on charge for a couple of hours, and I'm using the um, heavy duty one, which is why I've just got the <laughs> charge wires wrapped around the terminals. I will um, turn that off and check the battery in a little while. But 5 volts, if that's the one from last time that took days to bring up to voltage, then that may take days to bring that back up. But I'm hoping the heavy duty charger might uh, charge it a bit quicker. <sighs> well, that's so annoying. Uh, oh, yes, all up. Not last night, the night before when I actually got paid, I bought another one of those. And it was posted yesterday, so in theory, I should get it tomorrow. Um, if I'm awake. Actually, I'll make sure I'm awake. <laughs> Just in case. Because I wouldn't be able to get to the sorting office until Monday. Because obviously it says leave until the next working day. Well... That won't be Sunday. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't really want to wait that long. I want it. Uh, my Black Clawed Butler, I've just got a minor repair to do on that. I went over a bump yesterday and the adjustable handlebars fell down. <laughs> um, there is a lock underneath it. I don't know if that's not screwed in properly or... But uh, I am actually tempted to change the stem. But I will just see if I can lock that stem into place. Because obviously you've got the bolt that goes, you know, through from one side to the other, where it hinges. Um, and then there's like a plate underneath with a bolt through it that sort of locks into some teeth. So I'm thinking that bit might be a bit loose. So I'll have to try that. Yesterday I got some videos done for the Lego channel. I figured it's about time I uh, put a bit more effort into that. I don't want to lose that bit. I'm put that in my cup. Yes, I can rem remember which way around the wires go. Because weirdly, I did take the um, the um, hang on, control box apart as well. 
and I was poking I'm not sure what they are I don't think they're transistors I like three pronged I don't know something in there they could be for the power supply I don't know but there's three of them on there all with the same numbers and everything on them and one tested short so that could be the problem but I figured I'd start with the easiest first and get that battery up to voltage again at least up to 12 and a half volts that should uh, give me enough juice in there to at least put it back together and test it I've put the bike out on the landing for now because I was getting pissed off with it in the bedroom and I was taking up too much room in here and I wanted to uh, make some modifications to my police station so I have uh, so, um, it was suggested I put some stairs in the police station but uh, nah I like my ladder So you'd get in and out of a loft, so what difference does it make? We'll pretend my local council built that and built it on the cheap. <laughs> hmm. I want to get at least the floor of the next level of my hospital laid out but I don't think I've got enough big plates because I don't want to use pissy little ones because it means it's going to be weaker uh, you know we, the more plates you use the weaker it's going to be um, then I'd have to put joints in the floor just to keep it together and yeah a lot of palaver and I don't want to be pissing around but I did finish the ground floor yesterday I need a few more tiles I'm not too fussed about the outside because I can actually finish that off well as I go along building the floors you know it's not affecting the main building so <coughs> Ooh, pardon me I actually like my little uh, police station. Not like the uh, interview room or interrogation room, whatever you want to call it, reception area, reception desk, ladder to get upstairs, and a cell. Simple. It's a simple little Lego street, town, call it what you will. So it's got a simple little station. Roof for the fire station, that's going to be my job for later today. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. Damn it, I can't remember who done that song. Is it Cold Chamber? That might be Cold Chamber. I'll have to look that one up, I think. I can't remember. Not really the sort of uh, rock, metal type music I'm into. Keep forgetting it's Friday. Right. I've got a video from last night to put up. Which I've actually just forgotten about. Didn't do it last night because it was getting too late and I got too tired and I was getting too irritable. <laughs> and by the time it was edited up and whatnot, it was gone one o'clock in the morning. So I'm literally now about to upload it, I think. When I'm done scratching myself to pieces. Did my lead reach? Oh, it does. Just. <laughs> Just about. Right, well, that video I was watching is done, so. Click upload. Upload, and this is going to error out the first time because it's been doing that a lot lately. It's been a pain in the ass. I don't know why, though. Where is it? Is it this one? Yep. See, air is out. Click the upload button. 
error sending data over the network and I don't know why because like I said you usually when I do it the second time nope it's gonna do it a third time he's throwing a hissy fit we'll try a third time third time lucky sometimes it works the second time sometimes it doesn't there we go let's work that time I don't know if um, YouTube is having some issues or if it's something my end should I try signing out of YouTube and back in? I don't know. Like I said, I can usually get it to work. <laughs> Eventually. <sighs> Stupid sink. Right. It's a weird design. They didn't leave enough room to get a pair of grips in there. Even when you sit in the bath, it's still very, very, very awkward. You might do if you wanted to um, fuck around with the sink a bit more, but thankfully the plunger method did work. Uh, no, that wasn't the best design. Personally, if it was me, I wouldn't have put a bathtub in these bathrooms because they're really far too bloody small. You know. Hardly any room to dry yourself when you have a bath. Because when I first moved in, there was um, just a shower cubicle in the corner. On a raised concrete or brick plinth. I'm not sure what it was because it was actually tiled over it. So it could have just been concrete, actually. Um... So you had the shower, then you had this nice big space beside it for you to put things like a little bin or something in there, a laundry basket. And then they came along. I didn't even give you the choice. The choice you had was just a bathtub or shower over bath. You couldn't just choose a shower. I would have loved just to keep the shower, to be honest. But... Uh, just because it, it gave me that extra bit of room in the bathroom. Actually, if it was me, I'd take out the air and cupboard there. It's got the hot water tank in it. Where that door is. And um, I'd have personally put it in the corner of the bedroom. Which would actually give you a lot more room in that dinky little bathroom. That's just me. That's what I would have done, but it can't. Well, it could still be done, but I can't do it myself because I can't access the attic to extend the water pipes. But that's what I'd have done when I'd have uh, built this block. But then, keeping in mind these flats were built late 1960s, early 1970s, so. Yeah, it's quite an old block. Still in bloody good structural condition though. It's been well looked after over the years. Well, I suppose when you've got a building like this with multiple residents living in it, you don't have a lot of choice but to... Because back then this would have been um, owned by um, our council. North Norfolk District Council, but uh, I think it was about 2004. 2003, 2004, something like that. The um, council sold all their housing stock in Norfolk to Victory Housing Trust. Uh, Victory's not perfect. Um, their repairs could be a little bit quicker. I mean, the outside lights at the back have been out for about a month. Um, and they've only just been fixed. But to me, that's not just a security thing, that's also a safety thing, because the old boy at the bottom there, he goes out at night, around about 9 o'clock, comes back when it's dark, and usually the back door is closed. I leave it open for him, so all he's got to do is drive his mobility scooter in and then just flick the latch on the door and the door closes. But um, Victory wants us to keep the doors closed, so some of the residents do close the door. Um, 
And of course, in the pitch black out there, when you've old, when you're old, on a mobility scooter, and you haven't got very good hands. I don't know if he drinks. I don't think he does. Um, but I did talk to him once, and he said he hasn't got feeling in one of his hands, so that can be quite awkward in the dark trying to unlock the bloody door. <laughs> Which is why I always used to leave it open for him. It does sort of make you think as well, you know, some of these old people, we say they're grumpy old bastards, but if they're in that much sort of pain that you don't know about, then I'm not surprised they get grumpy, to be honest. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm just going to see how well my uh, battery is cooking down here. Because I've got the wires twisted around the contacts, I think I'll just unplug the charger. Because otherwise I won't get a reading from the battery, will I, with that still um, powered up. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Go take a piss, because I really need a piss. Uh, no idea what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Probably won't be doing a car boot sale this weekend, because it is supposed to piss down. And I was saying to mum in the car earlier, we could decide right now to say, no, we won't bother with a car boot sale because the weather is forecast to rain. And then it doesn't rain. And I said, or we could get everything ready for a car boot sale and say we'll do one and it will piss it down. You know, it's a 50-50. What do you do? Do you risk it or not? I'm still going to get everything I want for a car to put on a car boot sale, all sorted and put aside. If some of my battery chargers actually had the um, um, clips on the end of them, I'd have taken maybe one or two of those, because I don't need all of them. I've got a couple of quid for them. They all work. Every battery charger my friend has given me works. So I don't actually know why they haven't got the alligator clips on them. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you all. What's the time now? Quarter past three, I don't know few hours or so, or if I find something on Facebook worth talking about, whatever comes first. See you in a bit. Alright, I come back because I thought of something. I don't, well, I was going to say I don't know why I was thinking of this, but I do because um, the radio station I listen to every day has the big question. And it's just for fun. And he'll ask a question, and you're supposed to guess the answer. And today it was, um, 40 years ago, 68% of houses had one of these, at least one of these. But nowadays, it said only 12%. And the answer was piggy bank. But, um, things like outside toilets and whatnot was said. And it actually got me wondering, because the Americans commonly refer to the toilet as a bathroom. And I'm at, and that got me thinking, is the reason for that, because commonly a toilet in the home is in the same room as your bath or your shower, or bath and shower if it's big enough. <laughs> I know there's some people who have a big enough bathroom to have both. <clears throat> so I wondered if that was the, uh, how um, it got its name. Because that would actually make sense. We just say toilet over here, or loo, lav, short for lavatory, bog, that's another one. I not heard it called the bog in ages, what we used to call it when we were little. I'm just going to the bog. The throne, that's another one. <laughs> Your thinking toilet, I do a lot of thinking when I'm on the toilet actually. <laughs> uh, well, the battery is charging, it's up to six point some odd volts now, so it's charging faster with that charger. Um, may not get to do any reassembly until tomorrow, but I may bring the bike back in and get all the control, you know, all the computer bit all put back together, which is going to be a bitch. You need three hands. One to hold the screw and screwdriver, because I've got a magnetic screw driver and two, to hold all the plastic bits together. <laughs> oh, it really is awkward. Really, really is awkward. 
Oh, Nemo's moved. He was uh, laying on my white shirt. My clean laundry has, or some of my clean laundry has dropped off. Mum bought it to town with her because I'm. Uh, this is actually my last clean shirt. Look, I've got one hanging up there, but that's uh, too short, and the white one's a little bit too skin tight for my liking. But if I had to wear them, I'd have had to have worn them. But Mum's dropped some off. I think I've got at least a pair of jeans left. It's my fault because I leave it till the last minute to give Mum the washing. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. That was a bit of a pathetic belch, wasn't it? I was actually deciding what to get for dinner. As it's just gone five o'clock, I'm not sure. I don't know what I want. Part of me was thinking takeaway, but that's expensive. Uh, I'm going to have a quick tidy up in this bedroom later. Uh, well, I was going to throw a couple of those boxes of cars under the bed, but... I may actually chuck them in this cupboard. The ones I want to keep anyway. Um, well that box there of stuff, cars I don't want to keep. Uh, where is it? There it is. I've got some bits in there. Put four of those lights in for now. I don't want to take too many, you know, just in case it was a complete fail, but I thought I might as well put all the car boot stuff together. Um, even if we're not going to do one this weekend, we might do one next weekend if the weather's nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mum said, as she's working tomorrow, she said uh, she's um, she'll try and pop up after work. But you know what is really annoying? Um, so every time I see Mum, she just complains and moans about what my stepdad's done or not done. <laughs> every time. <sighs> I don't know why though, why he's like it, but like I said, he's he's always been alright towards me, so... Um, bit hypocritical at times, but I think most of us can be. <laughs> Although, I do think he needs to sort of just stop and think from time to time about the things he says and does. Because um, he is quite a large hypocrite in that sense. But I don't know if it's because he is just so forgetful or you know, he ate a whole punnet of grapes, which is a bit greedy. Mum didn't get any, but then again, he paid the price for it the following morning because he was in the loo. Because <laughs> um, grapes do make you shit. So he was awake really about five o'clock in the morning, I think, with the shits. Sympathy? Nah. <laughs> he bought it on himself. <laughs> Stupid thing is, he'll just go do it again. It's a bit like me if I make myself ill because of something I've eaten. I've never really looked for sympathy because it's my own fault. <laughs> if it's my own stupid fault, it's me that's got to suffer with it, isn't it? Alright, uh, yeah, so I'm going to just... I think when I go down I'll take my the rubbish bag out of my bin and take that down as well. Uh, put a fresh in it. I'll just clear some clutter up in the bed. That's all it is, just clutter. It's just stuff that needs to be put either back in the cupboard or under the bed. And I've got that red tub of cars down here that can go back uh, in the cupboard. I've got a cardboard box here that can go on the box of tools. One of us taking a couple of items out of there for the car boot. And I think the rest of the car boot items can actually go on the top shelf where my clothes go for now. I could uh, just stack the two boxes on there for the time being. 
don't know if there's anything else that's worth taking. I've got a couple of Vic 20 doofies up here, I suppose I could try and take those. Some computer collector might come along. You don't, that's the thing with car boots, you don't know who's going to come along. If I've got a laptop I could take. Probably not. Oh shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to disappear. Decide what I want for dinner. Go get said food. And like I said, just have a quick uh, tidy up in here. I've got a big gaping space on my desk over there. I could put some of these monitors up there at the bloody way. Actually sounds like a plan. <laughs> Find somewhere to hang that cabinet thing as well. And put the tapes on there. Not quite sure where to hang that though. I'll find somewhere. Be back later. Well, the floor's looking better. I can see more of the floor at least. Uh, I need to find a home for that electric bike. Um, speaking of, I've done a test on the battery again about half an hour ago actually, and that was measuring 7.3 volts. So it's rising. I think by the time I wake up that might be at around about 9, 10 volts. But hopefully, if I leave it till tomorrow evening, that will be fully charged. Or charged enough. I want it to be at around about 12.5 volts. That will be enough charge in it. Then I can put the battery pack back together. And see if that's the issue. But if that's not the issue, then I've either got a connection problem between the contacts on this end and the contacts on the bike, or an issue with this, the main unit. And if it's an issue with that, then the bike's fucked. <laughs> Unless I find a way to, you know, direct drive the motor with the batteries, you know, and bypass that. Which probably isn't going to be a safe thing to do. Right. I'll need to get the bike in from the landing and my laundry. So, I know what I can do so you can see me come in. I'll just move that out of the way and put you there. I'm going to go and get the bike in. Bye. Before it gets too late. This bike is so much lighter without the battery packing. I tell you, it would be absolutely impossible to take that bike downstairs on your own with the battery pack in. Right, here we go. As you can see, I've got all that apart again. Don't panic, I know which way around the wires go. But uh, yeah, my plan is to put all this back together. I've got some work to do on this bit. Uh, I'm going to stack 
Move you on there for a mo. Let's turn my screen around so I can see you. This, is it that one? No, it's not that one, it's this one. The whole stem is loose, so I'm going to take the um, neutral wire off, tighten up that stem, and I just threw a spanner over there earlier, didn't I? I'm going to take the in here along with the pliers. I did. <laughs> yeah. Just so the battery contact doesn't um, keep spinning around, because that might be part of the issue. You see the bloody uh, st <laughs> might be able to see it turning there. Which one is it? Is the bottom one here? So. I think I might just do both terminals actually. That might be the easiest option. Are these marked before I take it off? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> in that case, I'm going to do one first and then the other one. Otherwise, I'm going to forget which wire goes around which way. So I'm just going to get my pliers. Put the pliers on there. I'm just uh, Maybe it's meant to go like be like that then. I dunno. Just... In that case then I'll just crank the wire down. Like so remember I've just got to make sure battery contact in the right position. And that wire's got to be facing forwards when that goes back on. Uh, this is going to be bloody fun. Putting this thing together is a case of uh, needing three hands, or at least two pairs of hands. I've only got the one pair. And... I've got a wire broken. <laughs> Fuck. It. And bollocks. I'm going to have to fix that with a new crimp. I've pulled the yellow wire out. That might have even been part of the problem. <laughs> right. It's alright. I've got crimps for that. What part of them? If that had worked its way loose, then that might be the issue, so... Right, now I've got a pair of wire cuts somewhere. Are they still up here? With me white tape on the handle, so I knew they were the blunter ones, but now I can't find them. Don't want to use a sharp pair. For obvious reasons, oh, I know where that might be a pair. Going in that drawer. Right, we've got them two wires together. I've just got to find new blood. Ah, I found them. Let's move that chair up out of the way. Grab my screwdriver while I'm down here. Right. 
let's just rejoin the fire. One, two, there. Right. <laughs> hey, the fun has will now begin. I've got two little screws to screw the circuit board back into its box. I actually have to say the electrics on this don't seem to be that waterproof. <laughs> I think I'm going to plug this bit in last. Might be easier for me to get this on first. Where's my neutral wires? Here they are. That's got to go on there. Put the bloody computer control on the poxy nut, didn't I? Right. Get that tight and nice. Nice good tight connection. there hopefully. Hopefully I can get pliers on there to hold that not for a span on the floor. I've really been so clumsy with my hands lately it's unbelievable. on though but it hurt. <laughs> right. Uh, where's the other wire? Should have actually shortened that yellow wire really. But... Okay. Battery contacts are on. Oh I see. A broken screw in there as well. There's lots of broken screws on this thing. Right. I just want to get that wire under there. That wire's got to go up the top here along with those two. And that one. Right. That will go get it like that somehow. <laughs> this is the fun part. Not one of those. One of uh, no, that's not the screw. Fuck. I've got the rest in here. One. What have I done? Ah, here they are. Not even in right place. How many times do you think I'm going to drop this screw? I've just got to get at least one started so it acts as a third hand. Just like that. And I should be able to just nip the others together. There's another one.
Yay! My screw missed. <laughs> oh. I so hope I do not have to take this poxy thing apart anymore. I do hope that that stupid battery is the problem. Battery contact has rotated. I'm just going to rotate that back where it's meant to be. Right. I will find the fourth screw for this, but most of the screws seem to have done a vanishing act on this as well. I think someone's had... This has been through the wars over the years. It is quite an old electric bike, though. And batteries are from 2003. Maybe I'll get my screws in a minute and uh, I'll put that last one on. Now I'm going to put the doodar on. That's the cable that I had to short together. Like that. That on there. Now, green right. Blue went in the left. See, that's how I remembered. BL left, GR right. Okay. Now I've got this pissy little hole to put my fingers in to stuff all the wires in. Out of the way. <laughs> any of the screws? No I haven't, I've actually got all four screws. I had to replace these screws as well. Because most of them were knackered and there's one that was missing so I just stuck four replacements in. Well, yeah. if I can't get this to work again, then the chances are it'll just get broken for parts. What's wrong with that? No oh, one's well, on there. I don't give the monkeys anymore. Yeah, because I could sell the wheel, there's the throttle, or I could just use it on a trike project, I don't know. But I know I definitely would keep those batteries. Right. Well, apart from sticking an extra screw in there, uh, there's much else I can do with that. Wait for that to charge us all. Uh, at least that's looking a lot tidier. And I'm going to put my keys in the ignition. You know what is the scary thing with these keys? They're in that way, yeah? 
they work either way up. <laughs> I've got this funny feeling you could probably use a lot of different keys in there or easily pick it if you really wanted to. <laughs> That's just stupid. That's just, oh yeah, it's me waiting for a friend to get online and I just realised he's not going to be online tonight. Dumbass. <laughs> Is meant to be anything on there? No? Okay. <sighs> yep, just got to wait for that battery to charge up. Maybe I should take that paper off the battery charger because they do get a bit hot. That's covering up vents as well. That is actually getting rather warm. <coughs> You know, stupidly hot, but there is some heat coming out of it. It's me thinking I still had the rear gears to adjust, and I'd actually already done them. Just had a bit of a derp moment there. Right, that's all back together. Should we just go and get my pot of screws, I think. I put them in this cupboard. Stupid friggin' Hessian bag. Not up there, are they? Not up there. It's in here somewhere. Nope. That's bicycle parts. Long and long with a bent tip. Drill bits, screwdriver bits. That was a good catch. I nearly had that lot go everywhere. <laughs> that would have been a lovely mess to clean up with some shallow. The tub's like this, but they're quite shallow and full of screws. And I can't find not my big tub there. Sure, I've got another tin of screws like that somewhere. Or that's masonry and spade bits. It's my pot of fuses right there. Yeah. If they're not in here, I'm not going to be entirely sure where I've put them. Um. It's literally just a little plastic container like that, just full of assorted screws from where I've taken various items apart. I kept the screws. Because uh, some are handy to keep hold of. Or it's handy to keep hold of some, I should say. A cardboard box for the recycle bin. Oh well, I don't think I need it right this minute, but I'm sure it'll turn. Ah! I found it. It's here. No lid. But it's here. Is it? Yep, that's just a sort of... There's even some computer screws in there. Might even find some extra screws to hold that together. Ooh. A long one like that might come in handy, if it fits in the thread, it doesn't, <laughs> because uh, some of the plastic is broken so the screws just go straight through, they don't hold anything. Those are the original screws, and I've only got four, but right at the back here, both of them have broken, so, I mean I could i drill a hole through this little tab on the back here and that one and the cable tie it together or something but that's going to look shoddy and untidy isn't it? But I was thinking if I could find a long enough screw I could put a bigger washer on the end of it you know Let's 
is too thin. I might look at my nuts and bolts tub. I might have something in there. This washes nuts, isn't it? Oh well. There ain't much more I can do now until tomorrow. If I'm lucky by morning, that may actually have enough charge in. Like I said, I want to get it to 12 and a half volts. Or at least as close to that as possible. So it's at least the same as the other two. Anyway, I'm going to bid ye all good night and get this video up onto your job. I haven't taken my pill yet this evening, have I? Have I? Nope, st last one's still on the tray. Um, as for tomorrow, I'm not sure what the hell I'm doing. I might do a bit more cleaning up. Uh, it's supposed to rain. Hopefully, my parcel will arrive. Fingers crossed. Uh, the only other thing I can do is play around with this electric bike if the battery is charged enough by morning. It's been on for about 12 hours already. But that one, I believe, is the one that took its time to charge before, so... Might be in... Well, it's charging quicker than it did before, but... I think it was that one. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll, uh... Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.